Good evening, and thank you so much for stopping by. I'm excited to be here with you tonight. I want to shout out to Sister Ann right fast and wish her a happy birthday. This is her birthday month in May, and I hope to hear from you soon, Sister. But we're going to be talking about Lois Vogel Sharp. I'm going to let her start out. But first of all, we're going to go ahead with the word of the Lord of Deuteronomy 18, 21 through 22. And if thou say in thine heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. And in our case would be her, because we're talking about Louis Wilco Sharp, who is saying that she's a prophet, and she's also trying to build a, quote, safety haven, safe haven, which now she's not calling it that so much, but maybe it'll be called the local motel up there in uh, New York. But let's hear some of her, one of her older videos for you. Mm -hmm. 2020. And it said, what did it say in the beginning? Did you see that right there? It said, Trump wins. So we know she's a false prophet. It didn't come to pass at that time. Now we're going on to poems. Talk about numbers, numerology. 214, 214. She hasn't been speaking about it lately, but this is one of her older videos four years ago. Okay, so Biden's been in the White House for four years. We're now coming up on another election. Which which Trump may be it, and he could possibly win. But this is incorrect. This is not a prophecy. This is not a correct prophecy. Let's keep listening. Okay, now we're talking about Nephilim. Which, which she says are um, interstellar. Beasts that used to live on the earth. Maybe not bees. Beasts, but things. I say things. Words of the Lord. Oh, this this is a fun part. I am Esther. Say yes to Esther. Yes to Esther. Yes to Esther. He never came back into office. So that is another false prophecy that she's saying about herself. To do something. And the enemy wants to squelch every one of us. To be Esther, because she and says she's Esther. That's that's not that's not even logical. Now I'm gonna show you clearly what God is doing. Okay. Because God is still on the throne. All right. Satan does not win America. Okay. I was going to bed last night. Oh. I was facing Personal right information didn't need to hear it, but go ahead. Numbers again. Okay. With that, I rolled over the other way to my clock, and I looked at the clock, and it was one, one, two, four. Okay, we're going to stop that here, because we've already, the word of the Lord has already come out regarding this. Trump did not win, and she's not a prophet. She's not a prophetess. She's getting people's money under false pretenses that they're going to live in some special haven, some special place. And she has three buildings she's had there for the last uh, at least four years, which are um, press board buildings that are supposed to be guard shacks. She's only done improvements to the land so that when she one day wants to sell the land, because she'll be able to do that because it's all in her uh, corporation, which is a 50. 
5013C Church. And any money that anyone's put in there, that goes to her when she sells that land. Or her, her um, family sells the land. Like Gary or someone else in the family. So what we're seeing is a person that is parading around, telling people that she's more than what she is. She's a, she's a human being, wonderful. She, but she's not a prophet of the Lord Most High. She's not a prophet of anything. She's here to make profits, but she's not a prophet. So I'm going to finish this pretty quickly because Lois has said it all. Trump wins. Trump did not win that year. We're four years, four years into Biden's uh, presidency. And there, of course, is going to be the new election coming up. We don't know who's going to win or who's even going to be in the election. But um, Lois Vogel Sharp is not a prophet. A prophetess. Unfortunately, we have to go by what the word of the Lord says. And this is a King James Version that I am reading from. Have a great evening. Thanks so much for tuning in.